Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here, popping in. I want to share this with you because a lot of women don't really understand what they be saying when they be saying this. And I hear a lot of ladies say, oh, well, Tony, you know, I got this guy, I'm talking to this guy, he real nice, but he not financially stable. Or he's not where I want him to be financially. And you have to understand what financially stable really means. Financially stable doesn't mean that a man makes a million dollars. Financially stable doesn't mean that he makes a hundred thousand. It doesn't mean that he has a million dollars in the bank or a hundred thousand in the bank or ten thousand in the bank. It doesn't mean that he has good credit. Doesn't mean any of those things. Let me tell you how to tell if a man is financially stable and then help you understand the type of woman that a real man is going to choose in this day and age. A man who is financially stable is a man who is ambitious and hard working and he spends less than he earns. That's all financially stable means. Because if a man spends less than he earns and he is willing to work, he will never go broke. See, a man could have a million dollars in the bank right now and he could make a million dollars a year. But if that man spends bad, he will go broke. And that's what women get wrong. They get this, they see this man, they get this man he make good money, but he spend way more than he make. So what happens is, those of us like that, we always going broke. Now you got to be able to work now and keep making it. But not every man is in that kind of industry. The way he could keep working and keep making it. So guess what? He ends up going broke. So, to the women who watch this, when you get ready to choose you a man, and I'm giving you the cheat code now, the thing about it is, I know y'all don't listen. 90% of you do not listen, but I'm giving you the cheat code. Do not worry about the man's job. Don't worry about his job. Look at his character. Does he curse? Does he get drunk? Does he get high? Does he gamble? Does he smoke? Does he watch porn? You give him a credit score. Is he a man of God? Give him a credit score. For everything he does right, you give him plus points. For everything he does wrong, you give him minus points. And you set the point value based on how you value it. So if a woman tell me she's an atheist, negative a thousand. If she get drunk on on a part at the party, I might give her negative a hundred, negative two fifty. It's if that's occasional now. If it's every week, okay, negative five hundred. If a woman tell me she smoked, negative 500. If a woman tell me she gamble, negative 100. Depend on the level of it. If it's play, play, up $5 here, $10 there, okay. Ain't nothing crazy. She'll get that up. But she's spending a check, oh, negative 500. Gonna spend the kid, call it fun. See what I mean? woman say she a woman of God and I can see it in her character how she live okay plus a thousand don't smoke plus 500 don't get drunk plus 500 don't curse plus a hundred you see what I mean you give a credit score and when you choose a man that got character you need to have character. 
that kind of encompasses almost pretty much everything. But inside this character, man, he's kind. He's patient. He's understanding. He's ambitious. He's a man of God. That's what I mean by character. If a man got character, and, and no man gonna have it all, but if a man got character, you can work with that. You got something. One thing you gotta understand about a man that's willing to work, ambitious man that's willing to work, if the man willing to work, man, he gonna budget his money, he's not gonna go broke. But I'm gonna tell you something. The one type of woman that a man finna choose today is a woman who is not caught up on finances. A man is looking, a good man, he is looking for a woman who values his character more than his money. So if you give a good man a hard time because he is a janitor or he is a mechanic or he works in customer service and he busting his butt, he getting his degree or he working on a trade, he starting a company on the side that he can eventually transition to and you give him a hard time because he driving a beat down car and that man gonna leave a good man now and what you have to realize is the thing a good man to do today is because it's so many gold digging women it's becoming a thing like a public thing like women talking about and bragging about and preaching Make sure he got money. Because he going to cheat anyways. That mindset let a good man know that you jaded. You broken. And you have not healed. He don't want you anyways. If you want a man because with money. Because you think he gonna, every man going to cheat. You're not worth marrying. Good man don't want you. You're going to get a dog who's going to give you HIV. Give you rabies. That's what you're going to end up with. I'm trying to tell you. Listen to what I'm telling you. You're going to end up with rabies. Because you're going to attract the dog. With that mindset. Point blank pure odd. Point blank pure odd. Or you're going to get you one of these down low men. That's bringing that thing right out of another man booty hole. Unprotected. And then come putting it right in you. Give me that fresh urinary tract infection. Just like that. Listen to what I'm telling you now. It's only two types of men. Grown boys and grown men. That's it. That's it. So understand this right here now. A good man with ambition and character, he'll work three jobs if that's what he got to do to provide. He will work three jobs. He gonna put that money together now. He gonna strain that money together. See, the, the man who got money, that you going after that got money, that's all he focus on. And he think he God gift the woman because he got money. Oh, that man will get laid off and he'll sit there. He'll sit there because he can't get the kind of job he want to get. And now you got to get up and go to work after you just had a newborn. Because he'll sit there. Because you chose him based on money. You chose him based on money. Oh, this a woman driving. This hill 18 wheeler. Look at her. Okay. I know those women do it, but I don't never really see them. Well, that's pretty cool, that now. Now, no offense. Now, I don't trust a woman driving. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, call me what you want to call me. I don't trust a Ooh, y'all wouldn't get uh. I do not let no woman drive me. Uh, honey, that's a little sexist. Hey, call me what you want to call me. Y'all spatial reasoning is not good enough for me. No scurry ball. I got to be dead to let a woman drive me. I'm like, listen. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, if you could beat me in basketball, you could drive me. But if your spatial reasoning, 
all it right here, how you read and react. If you can't beat me in the sport, no, you can't drive me. No, no, I'm driving her. Y'all forgive me. Y'all forgive me. I know the I know the feminist that's on here looking for something to be mad about. Running to the blog right now. Only other thing, you don't let women drive him. We need to cancel him. Hey, listen to me. I'm one thing I'm gonna be with is authentic. Now let me go back to what I was telling you. This type of man now, a good man, he could have a half a million dollar a year job. And that man will pull up in a Honda Pilot on you, a Honda Civic. I use that name because that's what's behind me. That man will pull up in that Hyundai, that Honda, or that Hyundai on you. Just to see your face. Just to see, and see, he pulling up to pick you up. You can't, you don't realize that he could see your face from 50 yards away and you. Yeah, he seen that. He seen that. Done with you. Done with you. But I'm gonna tell you what he gonna do. He gonna take you on one more date. And he gonna pull up in that S class, that Mercedes, that Mercedes S class. He gonna pull up in it. He gonna look at you from 50, 50 yards away, and you gonna be. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Done with him. Last date. That's your last date. That's your last date. See. One thing a man is not looking for is, is an entitled woman or an ignorant woman. It's only, see, a woman with some sense, she's going to understand that a man's character is his currency. So hit this car. So they done, they done blocked the road. So I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna scratch my son's wheels. So they done got in the turning lane and then got the, now they got to get in the lane that's going straight. But instead of just turning and going up to the light and doing a U-turn, they blocking the lane, the turn lane for the rest of us. Cause they got, they trying to get over. Now I probably could get through here. Yeah, I could get through here. Yeah, I got through there. Sometimes you have more room than you think. The car went to Holland though. People just selfish. People just selfish. Don't be that person. Don't be selfish. If I made my mistake, I'm finna go on eat my mistake. I'm finna go on, come on off. Come on off the edge and come right up here to this light that I'm stopping at. Get right in the turn lane. Make my U-turn. Now I'm going back to where I need to go. Now look, I could've did that before they did that. They still back there at the light. That's just a life lesson. Just a random life lesson that I throw in these here videos now. We talk about everything. Life, love, and business. Understand that if you knew. So listen to me. What a man looking for, a good man, what he looking for today? Is he looking for a woman who know what good look like when she see it? Because see, a lot of women don't know what good look like when they see it. So when you don't know what good look like, you giving value to things that have no value. You giving value to a man who got a six-figure job. But he got two-figure character. You giving value to a man with a Mercedes Benz. When anybody could get in a Mercedes Benz or any kind of luxury car you could get into. Only thing you can't get into any kind of way is like Rolls Royce, Lamborghini. And you get in that too if you got cash, you got dope money, got scam money. You go get a cash now. They're going to report you and they might come after you, but you can go get it. So... Here, women give value to cars. My first G Wagon I bought, I had a 550 credit score. You see what I'm saying? Come on now. That's how that's how we fool people. Have things that look of value and really no value. So a man today, what they looking for, cause they getting wiser, not a good man, they're getting pickier because the world getting weaker and dumber. So now they looking for a woman of substance who got it up here. Not just a woman who looking at the aesthetics and the material things, 
they looking for a woman who who got it up here you got to have it up here and if you got it up there now now he can deal with you now he like oh okay okay i see she she know what really matter she more into the fact that i'm a man of god than the fact that i'm driving a honda she more into the fact that i open the door pull out the chair pay the bill than me having a six-figure job because he might tell you about his stream of income that only produced 50k a year and you think that's all he got but he want to see if that's going to be if you're going to look at his character to go with that and then a lot of women oh well that ain't foul that ain't foul because they looking at this and they looking at that no you talking about a grown boy a man a yeah, man he you got to have a perfect body you got to have a perfect face i'm gonna have my stipulation you're talking about a grown boy we talking about grown men grown men looking at something different because a grown man he gonna take into account a grown man you ain't got to look like the best thing since sliced bread you ain't got to look the world's greatest you got to look good to him you got to look good to him and if he like your look then hey that's all that matter a, a grown man also gonna see that you working on yourself and what you got going on you might be on your weight journey but if you losing a pound a week okay you making progress you might be losing two to five pounds a week okay you making progress you talking about you on your journey and you sitting there ordering a pasta a cake with a coca-cola he's like oh you ain't eat throw no Caesar salad in uh, my, uh, uh, at least start with a salad uh, uh, at least get a water with a lemon on the side my, uh, uh. so now he looking like well okay well she complacent she going backwards I'm straight he going by the business he going by the business so listen to me I need you to understand that these men they they looking for women of substance who working on themselves who not so concerned with money and material things so if you got all the designer bags and how about you unemployed right now and you afraid to go on the real real or rebag and sell them bags to put some cash in your pocket you getting stretched off the list getting scratched off the list if you're talking about you working customer service and you pulling up in a c-class bins you getting scratched off the list especially that customer service paying 25 30k a year you're getting scratched off the list because you focus on the wrong thing you come in there with some red bottoms and your bank account in the red bottom instead of in the black you getting scratched off the list I'm going to tell y'all a little secret too and a lot of women get out to it when I say this. A lot of women, one thing a, a real man respect is a woman who offer to pay her half. He's not going to let you unless he literally don't have it. And if he don't have it, he's going to let you know, hey, I'm on a tight budget right now. So I would love to go on a date, but you know, it would have to be under this budget or it have to be and I'm tell you, I'm gonna tell you one thing. From being a man who overspend and who is bad with money, you better appreciate that. You better appreciate that, cause you get with a man like me, you gonna be pulling your hair. Out. You going to be stressed. Do you hear me? You going to be stressed, not stressed. You going to be stressed with a K R in there. You gonna pull all that hair out. Do you hear me? Trust me when I tell you now. So, hey, get your life together now. Get your life together. Know what you're looking for. And know what a real man look like. Coming in here to get a haircut. Y'all, God bless you. We're going to talk soon.